so give the heading slime molds now slime molds is one other another member of kingdom protista lekin usually mold word hum log kahan pe use karte mold word this word we normally use it with fungi green mold bread mold to ye molds hum log fungus ke liye use karte but there is not a fungus lekin slimy consistency ki wajah se isko slime mold bula gaya but it is a member of protista तो स्लाइम मोल्ड्स के बारे में लिखो दे आर फॉल्स फंगाए दे आर फॉल्स फंगाए एंड दे हैव स्लाइमी लेयर इन देयर वेजिटेटिव फेज दे हैव स्लाइमी लेयर इन देयर वेजिटेटिव फेज they produce they produce spores they produce spores and is wajah se inko hum log molds bolte hain kyunki fungus ki tarah ye bhi spores produce karte hain jaise fungus produce karte hain in the sporangium waisa in mein bhi spores ka formation hoga in the sporangium they produce spores okay next point likho aggregation aggregation of slime mold aggregation of slime mold is known as plasmodium aggregation of slime mold is known as plasmodium to bahut sare slime mold jab ek combine ho jayenge usko plasmodium bolte hai but ye plasmodium different hai from the plasmodium parasite jo malaria cause karta hai wo plasmodium protozoa ka member hai yahan pe hum log iske aggregation ko bhi plasmodium terminology de rahe hain The aggregation of slime mold is known as plasmodium, which can grow up to several feet. Which can grow up to several feet. So aggregation continue हो सकता है and several feet तक इनका growth देखने को मिल सकता है. A particular example of slime mold is Physarum. So Physarum is one of the example of slime molds. So that is all about slime molds. So we have covered about dinoflagellates, chrysophytes, euglenoids, and slime molds. Protozoa का discussion बहुत detail में करना पड़ेगा. Usually इसको animal kingdom के just पहले पढ़ा जाता है. क्योंकि इनको animal like organisms बोला गया है protozoa को. जिसमें amoeba, paramecium ये सब आ जाएगा. तो वो हम लोग को अलग से discuss करना है. आज जो जो हुआ एक बार सिर्फ go through कर लो. किसी को doubt है किसी part में तो पूछ सकते हैं.